Hi everybody, welcome back to the third lesson of Introduction to JavaScript. And within this uh, lesson, we'll be looking into data types and variables of JavaScript. Before that, let's look into one question that I have. What is the most atomic thing within a programming language? Something that you need to operate on in a programming language? Variables. Now, how can you define variables in JavaScript? So let's see. And there are two set of questions. Ek to baat ye ki variables hum define kaise kar sakte hain aur hum data types impose kaise kar sakte hain. For example, if I want to use integer or a floating point number or a string. So how to do that? Let's look into it. So before starting off, let me tell you that there are no data types in JavaScript. JavaScript is kind of a very free language. So how can we do it? Let's see. So let's define a variable. To do that, you will use a keyword of Wow, that's it. So uh, next you name your variable. And next you just assign it any value. In this case, I'll say hello world in terms of a string. You can also create, oops, another variable. Uh, let's call it second variable. I'm not feeling creative enough in naming my variables. So I'll say I'll assign it to a, uh, an integer. Uh, third variable let's say a floating point number and let's look into booleans as well boolean variable and true it's as simple as that in javascript so javascript will handle this dynamically jitni bhi type assigning hoti hai javascript mein interpretation level pe wo hoti hai run time pe when javascript is being translated so uh, we can use console to actually uh, uh, you know print these values in our console or in our case if you are browser ke andar hai, you will see these values in the developer console as discussed in the previous lecture so a uh, new variable and let's play it off and here you go it's as simple as that uh next let's discuss one thing about variables which is kind of very interesting or something that can be asked to you in your interviews as well so uh let's take a scenario before jumping into this scenario do cheezon ka pata hona kafi zaruri hai and that is declared variables and undeclared variables so when i do something like this this is an undeclared variable kyunki maine iske sath var ka prefix attach nahi kiya so in this case let's console out x and let's console out x after you know assigning it so this is my assignment going on here i haven't declared this variable so what should i get let's see i get a reference error which is correct because uh many x ko declare nahi kiya or usko initialize nahi kiya in other words uh, in in a proper way so uh, let's let's say if i do something like this ab kya hoga ab bhi error waise hi hona chahiye maine x ko main access kar raha hu in the very first statement and i haven't declared it above to i should i should get the same reference error right but i don't i get an undefined and uh, my interpreter my javascript interpreter goes on in printing out the value of x what what is this behavior to explain this behavior there is a very interesting concept in javascript called hoisting so what happens is at interpretation level uh, what happens is javascript sees this particular assignment in two forms it sees it as var x declaration and then x is equal to 4 which happens to be assignment so javascript takes all sorts of declaration in terms of var at the top of its code so this will be translated into this hence you get an undefined and you get the value of 4 so this is called hoisting and aur ye kafi interview questions mein iske variations uh, variation of questions puche jate hain So I hope you learned something today in terms of uh, data types and variables. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.